when did you all start supporting football? Now, everyone has their own individual answers and everyone has their own individual stories as to why they follow their clubs. As we know, football is built by the fans. All the clubs that we know today have their money because of the fans. And now it's disgusting me and it is disgraceful to know that my club and several other clubs have gone with the green light for this pr proposed European Super League. Basically, the 12 founder clubs, AC Milan, Arsenal, Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, Chelsea, Inter Milan, Juventus, Liverpool, United, City, Real Madrid and Tottenham have all agreed to participate in a midweek competition where they all verse each other and there'll be 20 teams in this competition and they play each other midweek whilst also competing still in their domestic leagues. However, UEFA does not want that to happen. UEFA has explicitly told these clubs you will not be able to play in the Champions League, you will not be able to play in your domestic leagues and the players will not be able to play in the World Cup. UEFA and FIFA have come together to stop this. And I totally wholeheartedly agree. Football is about those games where Liverpool versus Aston Villa and we lose 7-2. Yes, to me, that was, a heart, that was a heartbreaking game. But for the Aston Villa fans, they enjoyed that game. And now Aston Villa, they're competing. That's what we like to see in football. We like to see those underdog stories. Leicester City winning the Premier League. How are we going to have that if these clubs who I've poured money into Liverpool, as you can see, my Liverpool bed sheet, Liverpool jerseys, I have countless Liverpool jerseys. I have so much Liverpool memorabilia. In fact, I have my Liverpool calendar right here. I spent, it's, I spent countless money on this club and how they return the favour is by going and spending even more money and putting more money into them so that they can join this Super League. It is not the players' fault and it is not the coaches' fault at all. It is the greedy owners' faults of all of these individual clubs. In fact, Liverpool have left, have left the, the body that means as soon as you leave it, you can't play in Champions League or Europa League. And they've left that. And there's no turning back. That, that means that us competing in the top four, what does it mean? If, we can't, if we're not in that, that body of, with UEFA to get us into those European, in, European tournaments, what's the point of even competing in the top four? And in fact, if these six clubs get kicked out, we're going to have Leicester, West Ham, Everton, Leeds as our top four. Because City... United, Chelsea, Liverpool, Tottenham and Arsenal will be kicked out. We're all going to be kicked out of the Premier League. And the reason Liverpool is hitting me so hardly is because it is my club. My club, Liverpool. I just woke up this morning to watch a straw against Leeds. You think you, that you think I wanted to see a straw one all? No, but that is football. Football is, the, is a game that is so unpredictable, which is why we all watch it. We all watch it. We all get up at ridiculous hours and they're, and they're returning the favour by us by joining some, some stupid league where clubs are just going to burst each other week in, week out. That's not football. We like to see, yes, we like to see the Barcelona and Real Madrids, but we like to see them when it's once or twice or three times a year because they're the special games. They're the games that people, oh, everyone is joined into. And that's, why, and that's why they're doing this, because they're like, oh, we know that we make the most money when Barcelona versus Real Madrid, when Liverpool versus Manchester United. But if it's every week or every three or four weeks, it's not special anymore. Liverpool Manchester United derby isn't going to be a derby. It's just going to be a regular fixture. It's just going to be Liverpool versus Stoke. It's not going to be a derby anymore. And that's the problem. The problem is, when these big clubs verse each other, they're special games because they, ver they don't verse each other as frequently as this new Super League is going to, going to be. And that's the problem with it. The Champions League have cha I've changed their format. They're trying to basically make make it in the form of the Super League so that these teams can stay. But the damage is done. The green light is going, is going ahead. Um, we can turn it around. Us fans can do our part. We um, might not have to watch our, our team play for a while. And I'm sorry to say this, but if Liverpool join the Super League, I don't know how I'm going to feel about supporting them in this Super League. I really don't know. I don't want to be, I don't want to be a part of them making billions and millions of dollars just because they're versing AC Milan and Arsenal week in, week out. And if they're not in the Premier League, how are we gonna support our club? You know what I mean? For me, this is the time where we support local uh, more than ever. Support our local clubs, our Sydney FCs, our Sydney Olympics, 
whatever your uh, equivalent NPL team is, to support them. Because it is quite clear that these clubs in Europe don't give a about us and about the fans because we are the ones that make the money. We are the ones that give them the money. We are the ones that buy their jerseys every year. We are the ones that watch their games and we are the ones that will come and watch their team when they come on tour. Not the millionaire, billionaire owners that only care about themselves, but the fans that will always, always stick by their club. And how are we gonna stick by the club now if we're sitting here in this European Super League? The Champions League final is not gonna be the Champions League final we know. In fact, the Champions League final in the next few years will probably be West Ham or um, Parma, Atalanta, these, these, these clubs that aren't historically big. And the reason that, the thing that annoys me is that Jamie Carragher made this point, so I'm not gonna take, take it from him, but I wanted to say why. He said the, that with the new owners that Liverpool have, we have won the Champions League and the Premier League, only once. Only one Premier League, only one Champions League. But, we are known for our historical wins of the Champions Leagues before that and the leagues before that and that's the reason we're in it. And they also said that any team that joins the Super League will have as many champ um, Champions League titles as their Super League titles. So Real Madrid's going to go into it with 13 titles after playing not even a game. And that's what's annoying me. It's the money and it's the greed that is killing me. And, and it's destroying football. And unfortunately, football if this happens, football will never be the same. We've already seen that the World Cup get approved in Qatar. That happened, that's happening. We just had to change the whole season. And now if this goes ahead, football is done for. Football will actually be done for. What's gonna happen with ticket sales with that? What's gonna happen with ticket sales for every other league? Because they're gonna have to bounce back because the Premier League doesn't have their main sources of income, which are the top six teams. Same with Serie A, same with La Liga. I commend League 1 and the Bundesliga for not going ahead. And in fact, Champions League, Europa League this year, are they gonna give the Champions League to PSG because the rest of the clubs that are in it are in this Super League? Who knows? But we need to get behind our local club. We need to get it behind the fans that do not like what is happening and continue to rally our support against the European Super League. Because um, as a Liverpool standpoint, I don't wanna lose Jurgen Klopp as a manager. He said he would resign if we lose him, and I don't want to see. I don't want to watch the best countries in the world have to play mediocre players because their top players are playing in this European Super League. Imagine, imagine not seeing Messi in the World Cup with Argentina. Just imagine that. I'll let you think about that. You've, Portugal without Ronaldo because the world, because they're in the European Super League. Just think about that, and that's why I wanted to leave this video because. The Super League will kill football, and for me, it will be the beginning of the end to the sport we all love. Thank you all for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my Pro Productions.